Well, hello, gentlemen. This is the first tutorial of the FSX painting uh, that we'll be doing. We will be covering the PMDG 737-900 with winglets. Now, it doesn't matter what paint kit you have. Of course, it'll be easier to follow along if you have the NGX. We're starting with the 900 because the 900 is very important for several reasons. First of all, a lot of people are having problems with the 900 kit. I want to get those problems, you know, corrected. And then I want to explain uh, some tricks on taking that 900 with winglets and converting that into every other paint you have. Real, you know, simple techniques. It's not going to save you. It's not going to be instant, but it is going to make you um, much more proficient in your painting if you start with the 900. So, let's get started. I have the uh, freshly downloaded paint kit here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and extract that. And while that's extracting, let's go ahead and go to your FSX installation. Um, and you can do that easily by going to Properties and Open File Location. And mine's on my D drive. And I'm going to go over to Sim Objects, Airplanes. And let's go over to PMDG 737-900-NGX-WL, which is winglets. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to take the default PMDG texture file folder. I want you to click on it and drag it. Press Control. You're going to see it's going to make a copy of it. Let go of your mouse. And it just made a copy. So see how I have this one labeled here? Don't worry about the capitals, it doesn't matter. Name this one the same thing. So we're going to name this um, texture dot DTX9 or whatever you want. It doesn't matter. The important thing is when I reference DTX9 that you make the corrections. I recommend you doing it exactly how I do it, and then later you can change it once you understand, if you don't. All right, so I'm going to just call that that and I'm going to open that up and the reason why you do that is because now you have the files you can see the files that you're going to be working with when you save the files um, sometimes the PSDs aren't labeled exactly what the DDS files are now I'm not referring to the NGX kit I'm referring to every paint kit out there and keep that in mind too we're not just painting the NGX some people are painting uh, the Rail Air Duke some people are painting, you know, uh, Flight 1's Cessna 172, you know, so we have to, um, you have to bear with me. I'm trying to explain this to every new painter out there. So another way to do that is you don't even need any of these files other than the um, Texture CFG and the thumbnail uh, JPEG. So you can open this in any editor you want. I'm going to open it in... Photoshop since I have Photoshop and I'm just gonna fill it with white okay and let's say a text tool here and I'm gonna say 900 and to get out of that like I explained in the other video I'm gonna just click over here I'm gonna press control T and that's gonna transform what I have here so when I move over the 900 I get the double arrow and I'm going to hold down shift and it's going to constrain the proportions. If I didn't hold down shift, you see what it does. So it doesn't matter at this point, but you need to really pay attention to these shortcuts because these shortcuts are going to save you days of work. I'm not talking minutes or hours. Ask a developer how, how important copy and paste is. Come on. Now, this is very important that we have a thumbnail that's going to be quick, easy to spot, blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to go ahead and save that. And we're going to say JPEG. And whoops, there we go. Save it, replace it, absolutely. And I don't care the file size. So there we go. So now we have that done, and we have the texture CFG. And this is important, too, and I want to talk about this. This has what you call fallbacks. 
Okay, so let's look at where we are right now. Right now, I'm in my FSX directory, sim objects, airplanes, and the PMDG 900, and I'm in my particular texture folder. So, what this first fallback is saying is I want you to fall back two folders and then go into this folder and then go into this folder. The second fallback, third fallback, fourth fall, you know, as many as you have here, they have to be in order. So the first one has to be not your this file. This folder is where it's going to look for all your files originally. If you don't have files in here, it's going to automatically go to fallback one. And you can see here, even though it's the 900, it's going to fall back into the 800 NGX texture VC folder. After that, it's going to go to this folder. After that, down to texture common, and so on and so on and so on. So we don't need any files in here other than this and this, and we're good to go. So let's now back up out of this, and let's look at the CFG edits. I don't need this. So I'm going to open up my aircraft CFG. And let's, oof, that's bright. Sorry, got a big monitor. When you go in here, just take an entry. And I say to take an entry from PMDG because their entry is going to be correct, while somebody else's entry might be from someone like me. And I was drunk, and I, I put in my phone number instead of the um, ATC ID number. So take one from PMDG default and go down somewhere and paste it. Now here's my entry. You can copy and paste this. Oh, never mind, it's a video. Um, so let me go over a couple of things real quick here, and these are very important too. FSX and FS9 are a little different. Um, I will make an FS9 video to cover a lot of these differences, but there's a very short section in my um, written tutorial that would be, you know, just as easy for you to follow. So here I have Flight Sim 1. Flight Sim 1 because this one is Flight Sim 0. If I add an, if you have a 1, then your pasted entries, you want to change the Flight Sim to whatever your number is. If it's you already have a 1, then name it 2, and so on and so on. The title has to be different than every other title that you have. So here I called it the Boeing 737-900NGX Dantrix Airlines Winglets. SIM number um, you won't have to change because again you're getting that from up here. So you're going to want to change the title. Um, this I'll explain later. Uh, there's some lines that have importance. And then our texture equals is going to be whatever we named this over here. So if you named it dot my mom, then you're going to put texture equals my mom. Okay? Short, sweet, hard to beat. The checklists you're not going to have to touch because that's already been done for you. ATC airline for this one for my particular um, library that I'm doing. I'm doing a Dantrix Airlines library. Um, actually, I already did it, but we'll get to that in a minute. The ATC ID number very important. Now the ATC ID number um, is going to be your tail number and what this number is is this number is used also for um, the PMDG INI files. So keep that in mind and we'll go back to that later. But this is one of the things that you're going to want to change. So we changed this, we changed this, we changed this, and now you're going to change these two, and flight number, whatever you want. Um, down here, we have the ATC model. Don't have to change that. It's going to be whatever is up here. And we're going to want to change one more thing. Um, your airline name. And that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm sorry. Your UI variation. Okay, so I'm sorry if I'm talking fast here. And if you do want to put any notes in here, don't take out what PMDG has. You know, it's their aircraft or anybody's aircraft. You know, leave what they have in there. If you want to add things in there, you know, add things, but add it to the end of their spiel. You know, they're going to probably have, you know, uh, some kind of 
agreement with like Boeing or whoever else they're making the uh, add-on for you know so leave that leave the trademark stuff at the very end of whatever they say uh, forward slash n or backslash n rather and then without a space you can start typing away and then end it with a backslash n and then this you don't have to change you don't even have to have it but that's that we now have these things changed we have our folder created and now you can go ahead and right from here you can actually go into the simulator and load it up and you're gonna see the PMDG default plane because you're now either using those files that you copied or the texture CFG is falling back to those files makes sense right okay good